My relationship with church and God early in like my life, God just felt like a grumpy old like grandpa. Like he just felt like I just had to like worship him like just like once a week and like church just felt like a chore. Like church, I just, it just felt like I had to go through it just like once a week. Uh, first semester in 2021, I met some people that influenced me in like the way that God didn't intend for like my path, uh, made me more rebellious more uh, impatient, more angry. And like, it just made me, it just made me hide a lot of things from like a lot of people and just hide my emotions. Just kept everyone away from like the inside of like my heart. I just felt very like broken, very like alone, ashamed. My mom's friend, she mentioned about Celebration Church and like during the pandemic, like church was not a thing for us because church just closed down and we just never heard about an online church up until celebration. The first time we watched it, it was just like a whole new environment to us. The worship the worship songs were really hit us in the heart. And like the message, the message just also hit us a lot as well. We'd still continue watching and like we'd be as consistent as we can. My friend's mom uh, has a daughter and like she told me to come to Risen, Risen Youth Fear Factor. And that was the first Risen that I ever went to. Uh, when I started uh, going in person to celebration and also going to Risen Youth, the worship was just like, it was just so engaging and just so thrilling. And same, and the message, the message was, were just really, really good. A lot of people were hyping Risen Camp, like for like nearly like the past year, like my friends, like, were, like my friends from Risen were saying, dude, camp, tap camp is going to be so good. The mosh pits, the mosh pits are going to be so crazy. I was, I was just like, I don't really want to go, but like, I also kind of want to experience. I want to see what they were talking about. I signed up, I registered, and I just went. The first, like the first thing we did, we just went to the mess hall and like, everyone was just loud. Everyone was just representing like team spirit. And like, it was just like heartwarming and stuff to see how people are actually like, United. Tuesday night of uh, Tuesday night service of Risen Camp. During the message, it was just so relatable to me. It was so relatable to my life. That was the night that made me feel that I had to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I went up to that. I went up to the front. I surrendered my life to Christ. I was forgiven of the past things I've done, and I just accepted Him. During Holy Spirit night, uh, Pastor Joel told us to go up to front if you wanted to receive the, pre the gift of the Holy Spirit. I went up, I just felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. It felt like he was touching my hands. It felt like he was touching my hands and it made me know that God was real and it made me more passionate of following Jesus. Like, I just, I just felt more free and more patient and more happier. My life now, after Risen Camp, uh, I'm more devoted with my relationship with God. I'm more patient. I'm more patient with others. And instead of him feeling like a grumpy old grandpa, he just feels like a big older brother that I can just talk to, that I can just talk about my feelings with. And uh, he just gives me advice of how to do things better. Since Risen Camp, uh, I'm more committed to make time for the church, make time for Risen and it just feels like a second home to me.